What's going on guys? Super excited today. My N-Gage, Lund N-Gage showed up um, with my mount. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to get going here and we'll, I'll basically be going over, you know, the install of everything, how I feel about the tune. I have a buddy coming over later. He's ridden in my car a million times, you know, in Mexico. Um, see how it feels to him and... Um, yeah, hopefully it's spot on and we don't need any revisions, but just a basic 93 tune for now. Then I'm going to go to E85 with the flex so I can switch between if I want, whatever. Um, yeah, so basically, here it is. Let's see what's inside. Is the SD card inside of it already? It is. Okay. <clears throat> well, there it is. End gauge, window suction cut mount. So first things first, I'm gonna go flash the factory tune onto here and then we'll get to uploading um the bass tune that alex sent me and we'll go from there all right now we're gonna flash the factory tune onto the car before we upload the 93 tune i'm gonna fucking have to figure out a new place for that but a little bit more I guess I need to go look at the the instructions or something because from what I know, or at least from what I've seen, you got to flash the stock tune onto the end gauge and then you upload the tune that they sent you. Well, after some quick research, I found out Lund actually automatically saves your factory tune while you're flashing the new tune on. So, let's grab this SD card out of here, and flash the tune. Let me grab this guy. Alright, we got it. Let's go flash the tune on, put the SD card back in, and do the uh, data log. Take it for a rip. Alex wants a, I think, 7,000 RPM pull. Couple of like 2,500, uh, but I'll go over what he sent me in the email. 
All right, so I downloaded the tune onto my laptop. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're gonna, you're gonna go to my computer, open up your Engage, custom files. You're gonna drag in your ENC file into the custom files folder. It is complete. So our file is in there. Let's double check it's in there, yep. Cool deal. We're gonna exit out of here. I love the S550, but the Fox body, whew, still my favorite Mustang. All right, pull the SD card out. All right, now let's see what happens, man. Pull this out of my adapter real quick. SD card back into the end gauge if I can find the slot. Who the hell's calling me? If I can find the slot for it, I know it's right. Alright, somewhere around here. <laughs> I have 5% tint on all, all my windows like a dummy, so I can't see a damn thing in here. I believe it's like directly underneath. There it is, right there. Right there. for this old girl to boot up. I'm gonna go to tuning, load tune. Flash this tune. Eleven minutes. Oh my god. My car's going crazy. RIP my warranty. Okay, cool. Yeah, saving stock calibration. That had me worried for a second. I was like, damn, man, I don't want to forever be dedicated and not, you know, if I wanted to switch back, not have the option. Well, since it's going to take a minute, I'll uh, let it do its thing and. We'll get back to it. So the tune just successfully flashed. Said to turn the car off for a couple minutes or 10 seconds and then start it. We'll let it get up to operating temp. And then we will go for the 
data log session. So we're back, still data logging the idle. The, the log that Alex wants is um, idle for three to five minutes, rev to 1500 RPM for 10 to 15 seconds, do the same for 2500, 3500 RPM, keep the engine running, proceed to drive, a um, couple of slow RPM climbs from 2500 to 5000 in second or third gear. <coughs> And then a wide open pull to 7,000 RPM, come to a stop, let it idle for one to two minutes, and then stop the log and send it back, see if there needs to be a revision. So I've got about a five minute um, idle log there. Now we're going to do 1,500 RPM for 10 to 15 seconds, and then the same for 2,500 and 3,500. So.
stop, let it idle for one to two minutes. All right, and that's our data log. After doing that initial wide open pull, I can definitely tell that uh, there's a little bit more pep. <laughs> Uh, the tires blew first and second gear pretty much out the hole. Um, the rev match is a little iffy. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, I don't really care about rev match all that much, you know, so not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I mean, feels good. Air fuel ratios are way down compared to factory. guys so I just finished uh, doing the data log for Lund um, now I'm gonna go over well the drive let's go over the drive first I guess uh, the data log was nice um, the mid-range feels a lot more there's a lot more power there the power band is I guess longer than stock um, I didn't really rip it too hard afterwards I don't I, I I want to get the revised version or see what Alex says before doing so. Um, well, that probably won't last too long. I'll probably end up taking it out here in a second and beating the shit out of it. But uh, right now, I just want to go over some of the other features that the N-Gage has, like the gauges and stuff like that. And we'll see. We'll see what, uh, what kind of cool shit we got. Yeah, it's sweet. So you can set parameters. So set this at so 4,800. Set that at 6,000. being good you want to go outside let's go outside yes. let's go outside so after driving the car around a little bit um testing it out i didn't go too hard but um a couple poles you know not too high in the rev range because I definitely want to see what, like I said before, I want to see what Alex has to say about the uh, data log first. 
Um, as far as the tune goes, there seems to be a lot of hype on the internet for a Gen 3 stock car getting a 93 or an E85 tune. Um, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed in the results, but it's, it's a good step forward for a stock car. Uh, it's more responsive. Uh, the low end RPM range is way better than stock. Um, and this is just the base tune that I was sent. I'm sure there'll be a revision. Um, but I think it would be more well suited for a car with, uh, you know, more f full bolt on, you know, long tube headers, uh, maybe ported manifold, uh, shit like that. So the initial response to the stock Gen 3 with a 93 tune um, is it's all right. You know, it's, it's a good step forward. I'm going to get the E85 tune um, this week and uh, get that data logged and squared away before I, I do anything else. Um, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Friday, there's a meet in town and apparently there's going to be some races afterwards and uh, I'll be bringing you guys some videos of that. I'll have a outside mount, inside mount on my car. Um, a buddy of mine will be filming some stuff too. So I uh, look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Give me a like for more content. I'll see you next time.